In this lecture, we are going to understand how to work with different HTTP methods using routing app. I'm going to create a simple routing app and show you how to work with different HTTP method. So let's get started and see how to create a simple routing app. So I'm going to create a new folder inside this tutorial folder and name this folder routing app. And just after that, I'm going to initialize this folder and install some node modules. So I'm going to open my terminal and enter into my routing app. So here I'm going to say cd routing app. Let me just clear the screen and here I'm going to say npm init hyphen y to initialize this package as npm package. When I press enter, this will just create a package.json file inside this routing app. Just after that, let me just install some npm modules. So here I'm going to say npm i for install. I'm going to install two modules. First is express and second is a node mod. When I press enter, this will just install these modules inside this project in the node modules folder. Let me just clear the screen, close this terminal and create a server.js file to create HTTP server. So here I'm going to say server.js and inside it I'm going to create my HTTP server. So as you know, to create a HTTP server you need to first require the express. So here I'm going to say constant express is equal to require express. Just after that I'm going to say constant app is equal to express. So I'm going to just create an instance of the express app using this variable. Just down here I'm going to say constant port is equal to 3000. Just for that here I'm going to say app.listen and I'm going to just listen this port and specify the callback function and inside it I'm going to say console.log and in the backtick operator I'm going to simply say express server currently running on HTTP localhost and specify the port name. So here I'm going to specify dollar sign and specify the port name like this. Just for that, let me just create here a simple route. So here I'm going to specify the home route. So here I'm going to say home route and say app.get. So as a first argument, I'm going to specify forward slash. So this will refer to the root route. And as a second argument, I'm going to create arrow function and specify request and response parameter like this. And here I'm going to say response.end and in the double quote, I'm going to specify routing app. Open the package.json file and here let me just create the start command. Here I'm going to say start nodemon, call the nodemon module and specify server.js. So this will just start the npm server and watch this server.js file. Save the changes, open the terminal and here I'm going to say npm start. When I press enter, it will just start the server on port 3000. So when I click on this link, this will just open the browser on localhost 3000 and I'm going to have a message routing app. Close this package.json file and in the server.js, I'm going to create different routes to explain how routing works. This route is going to create a get request and send a response to the browser. Now you are not limited to only use get request. If you want, you can use post, delete, put, copy and so on. There are different HTTP verbs you can use in express application. In this project, I'm going to use four different HTTP verbs to explain how HTTP requests work. So you can notice here, this is a simple get request. Instead of creating different routes inside this file, I'm going to create a separate file for routing. So I'm going to create a new file inside this routing folder. So here I'm going to click on this new file icon and say route.js. When I press enter, this will just create a router.js file and inside it, I'm going to say constant express is equal to require and require the express module. Just start that, I'm going to say here constant route is equal to express.router. So I'm going to call a method of express application. Now here what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create different routes that can handle the data returned from the database. We don't know about a database yet. So I'm going to just create a simple file that mimic a database. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a new file inside this routing. So here I'm going to click on this new file icon and name this file database.js. And inside this file, I'm going to copy some data and paste it inside this file. You can notice inside this file, I'm going to create a variable let accounts and inside an array, I have this data. Just for that, down here, I'm going to say module.exports and export this variable. So I can use it in other files. Now, just close this file and back to the router.js. And here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create my first route. I'm going to create a simple get request. 
So here I'm gonna say get request. So I'm gonna create a command get request and here I'm gonna create my first request. So here I'm gonna say route dot get. I'm gonna call a get request and as a first argument I'm gonna specify the path. So here I'm gonna say for slash accounts. Just for that I'm gonna specify the callback function with request and response parameter like this and inside it I'm gonna just say response dot json and I'm gonna just return the response in json format and inside this json I'm gonna return my database data as you know I have this file database.js inside this file I have all this data I want to return this data when the user specify accounts in the browser URL so when so when the route path is match I want to return all this data so what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna just say constant accounts is equal to require and I'm gonna just require database.js file so I'm gonna specify here database just out of that I'm gonna create an object and specify key user data and to this user data I'm gonna specify value accounts like this save the changes and now when I call these accounts and make a get request I'm gonna have all this data let me show you I'm gonna just back to my browser and here I'm gonna say forward slash and specify here accounts so when we specify this URL in the browser and make a get request I'm gonna have all this data but before I do it let me just export this route so here I'm gonna say module dot exports is equal to route now once I export this route don't forget to require it so I'm gonna save the changes back to the server dot js and here I'm gonna say constant route is equal to specify the require function and in the double code specify dot forward slash and specify router.js file like this and just for that you need to use this route so you need to call here the middleware so here I'm going to say app dot use and in the parenthesis I'm going to specify the first argument so here I'm going to specify the path so in the single quote after the forward slash I'm going to say API and as a second argument I'm going to specify route so using this statement I can use this route in my project so let me just save this file save this file as well and here I'm gonna say API forward slash accounts and now when I press enter you can notice I'm gonna have all the data now you can notice this is very simple to create a get request but what if you want to make a post request working with the browser URL to make a request is not a good idea because when you want to make a different request you need to do some extra work so to solve this problem you need to install software tool that helps you to test your API so in this project I'm gonna install a simple software tool that can help us to work with a different HTTP methods so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a new tab and here I'm gonna search for postman and when I press enter I'm gonna have a website www.postman.com I'm gonna open it and from here you need to install this postman tool inside your local system postman is a scalable API testing tool postman is a popular API client that makes it easy for developer to create share and test document APIs this is done by allowing user to create and save multiple and complex HTTP requests as well as read their response this is a very useful tool when you work with different APIs in node so what you need to do is you just need to sign up on postman by clicking on this sign up button and download the postman tool once you download it install it in your local system I already done that so I'm not gonna do it again so I'm gonna just back to my browser and open the postman so I'm gonna search for here postman when I press enter this will just open the postman tool to test the API once you install the postman tool it will look something like this you have the URL section where you can specify the URL of your request then here is the type of request you can make with this postman and using this send button you can make a request if you want you can add multiple tabs here right from here that's upon you so to create a new tab just click on this plus icon and open a new tab and right here you can specify the URL of the request so what I'm going to do is as you know this request is going to return this data so I'm going to just copy this request so I'm going to copy this URL and here I'm going to specify that URL like this and as you know this is the type of get request just click on this send button when I click on this send button you can notice here I'm going to have the data what I want we have the well formatted data as a response on the right side right here you can notice a status 200 which is the ok status 
then you have the response time and the size of data now this tool is very useful because using this tool you can make different requests like post put patch delete and so on there are different http methods you can work with using this tool you can make any of these requests next i'm going to show you how to add data inside this database variable using post request